Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to share with you my current favorites. If you guys are interested in seeing what they are, keep on watching. So I thought I would share my current favorites with you guys. I really haven't had a monthly favorites and I just figured I'd just show you what I'm currently liking and enjoying and what's working for me. Some are new products, some are um, oldies but goodies. So let's get started. I am first going to share with you this hair product here, which I did show you guys in a um, past video. It's the Nick Chubba's Overdone Volume Booster Spray and it's with Tamanu Extract. And it's this item right here. I really like this product whenever I feel like I want to give a little extra something to my hair. But I highly recommend if you're somebody that's looking for some more extra volume in your hair. Right now, I think you can only get it on his uh, site, but it might end up being on QVC at some point. I didn't see it on there, but you could look on his site and that's where this you can purchase. Another hair product I pulled out, and this is an oldie, but a goodie, it's from Jane Carter Solution. I really like a lot of Jane Carter Solution products. She has a curl cream that's one of my favorites. She actually has a scalp treatment that can kind of stimulate your cuticles and everything and kind of just revitalize it. It's, it's a really nice oil if you're looking for something else to try for hair growth or you know you're just you're noticing some thinning thinningness of the hair and this one is the wrap and roll for smooth styles wrapping and setting you know you can just I, I use it as a mousse basically and just uh, put it all in my hair it's really cool because it's a clear uh, product but it comes out in this pump as a mousse and it's it's really nice it smells really nice too I have a perfume here that I've really been liking the scent of. I would like to get the larger size of it. It's really nice. It's from Ralph Lauren. It's the Tender Romance perfume. Oh, it's so beautiful. It smells so nice for right now with the spring and summer coming. It has those nice um, softer scents that I like. I see here it has like white magnolia and silky soft cashmere. It just, it smells really nice. I think I might get a full size. I love having these samples because it obviously gives you an idea of what the uh, perfume smells like before you really actually purchase it. The next item, oh my goodness, I love this clean on me from the Soap and Glory. I was telling you guys about this one. This is the other one. I had the Rich and Fomus, which has the nice warm vanilla scent. This one smells if you're familiar with inner grace like any philosophy has their you know their grace line and there's like pure grace amazing grace i think they have summer grace now too there's quite a few of them but they have one called inner grace i'm not sure if they still have that one or not but this smells exactly like that scent so i would love for them to make other scents with this this is really nice and it's the clean on me so if you ever try the inner grace like that soft feminine sophisticated scent it's not too strong not too powerful it's just right in the middle you'll, you'll really like this okay skincare um this product i was gonna talk about in a video and i just never got to it and i feel bad because this was sent to me it's from labyrinths i believe is the brand i mean it's like just one of the brands it's like an off-brand name i've never heard of and I looked into them and they do have like natural ingredients. This is Phyto Stem Cell Moisturizing Cream. It's a one ounce. I believe it's on um, Amazon. So you can purchase it on Amazon. But the one thing I noticed, the very first ingredient in this is aloe. It's not water. A lot of moisturizers and creams start off with water first as the base. And then it goes from there. But this gives me a nice lifting, firming feeling and hydrating. I, I really like it. It is a really good moisturizer. I would purchase it. Yeah, so I really like that moisturizer. Another moisturizer I'm really liking, and I did pick this up at TJ Maxx, and it's from Daniel LaRoche Retinol Vitamin A and E Day Cream. This, I really like a lot of Daniel LaRoche products that I've tried so far, and this is no exception. 
it, it's like a thick cream. When you first take it out, it's like a thick cream. But I always rub and kind of melt my creams in my fingers first and then, you know, pat on and everything. One of those ones where I would repurchase again. This, I might actually repurchase this, hoping they still have it. I will have to look online and see. And like, I always put links down below so that you can maybe check out some of the products and see if, you know, about purchasing them. But this is from Olay and it's the Regenerous, Regenerous Luminous Overnight Mask. It's a gel moisturizer. Okay, and this is similar to all those moisturizers that we're seeing. I think there's one called Laneige or something, you know, and, and just all those kind of gel moisturizers that it's like a night having a nice um, splash of water on your skin, but it makes it smooth and just this smells really fresh. I really like this, this cream. If you are somebody that wants that little extra hydration at night, I add this at the last point. Like sometimes I will put it on just by itself and sometimes I will have a little extra different, you know, maybe other, some kind of moisturizer. A lot of times I like using this when I'm using my retinol though. So that's what I've been doing, putting it over top of that. I jumped into the ordinary and finally picked up the niacinamide. I know niacinamide is supposed to be really good for the pores and just all over clarity of your skin. I know it's supposed to help um, with the sebum that you get that's deep down in to your pores which I know it sounds kind of gross, but I learned a lot about sebum when I was getting acne because, you know, it just, sebum can build up in your pores and that's what causes your acne and everything. And this helps a lot. If you are somebody I would believe that has acne prone skin, this would be something to look into is niacinamide. It just does an extra something for the skin. This here I picked up uh, it in my Walmart and I seen on Twitter they were tweeting about some of the new items that they had from Physicians Formula. Um, the only thing is, the way the wording is on here, you really can't see it too well because it's. It, I think they should have maybe made it more like black in color or some. I don't know. It's a little sometimes difficult to see, but it's Physicians Formula 24 Karat Gold Collagen Serum. Now, do I think it's doing anything for my skin? Possibly. I, I, I'm not going to really sit here and say that. But the one thing I like is because it is collagen it does give that extra hydration and firmness so I, I really like it I, I that's why I put it in this video because I am liking it it is a little bit sticky tacky when you first put it on um, it's a really nice bottle you know the packaging is really nice and it has a nice pump so if you're on a budget you know and you're looking for a nice good collagen serum or some kind of serum look at the physician's formula I know they can be somewhat pricey to a to a degree but considering again to other products out there. I think Physicians Formula is really even stepping up more into their uh, products they're bringing out right now. So I'm really liking Physicians Formula a lot. This was sent to me. It's a green tea facial peel. It's a dead skin exfoliating gel. I did a whole video on this and this is similar to those ganache peels that you can get. Um, if you've never tried a ganache peel, it's basically like a gel product that you just put on your face, dry face, and just massage it and it just removes and helps exfoliate your skin and just removes all the dead cells and everything. This one here is very different because it has a different texture than the typical gel ones. And I think in the video I said I don't quite want to explain to it saying it is like Vaseline or anything. I guess I want to say that the oils, maybe some of the natural oils in here you could tell and that's why the different texture compared to the other ganaches that I've used. And I really like this one. This one here gave me a nice, really fresh, clean feeling, but it's worth looking into. The company is called Fresh, F-R-A-I-C-H-E, Live Fresh. And um, so yeah, I might be trying some more of their other products out. They do have a nice mud mask that I was thinking about trying. Speaking of mud mask, oh, I was so happy to pick this up. This mud mask, I really, like a lot and it's so affordable it's like five bucks or something like that and it's from the company queen helene and it's the uh mud pack mask it's a toxin relief revitalizes and detoxifies it helps get rid of all the impurities that is in your pores and i really like that because yeah it gives a nice deep clean feeling but yet leaves the skin so nice and soft 
and I love mud masks. There, there's a lot of different kind of mud masks I like a lot. And Queen between Queen Helene and Freeman, those two are so affordable and they have such great facial masks to look into. This one, Queen Helene, is also located in Sally Beauty, but I actually purchased this on Hush. I made an order with the uh, Hush company that's becoming pretty popular. They're bringing out all these different things on their on their site, and I purchased this on there and I was so glad because this that is one of my favorite mud masks. Okay, so getting into the makeup. This lip liner from Milani. Oh my goodness. I haven't found anything quite like this one that matches to my lips where when I'm putting lip products on, you know, it I can line around and everything. I, I really like this one. This one is called 04 All Natural and it's from it's from Milani and it's a really nice pretty color that just works with my lips so well and I like these lip these lip liners from Milani Milani and um, Rimmel are some really good ones that are very affordable or sometimes even L'Oreal L'Oreal has L'Oreal has some really good lip liners I will say because I have tried one of their lip liners their new ones for the brows I just got this in my boxy charm just recently and I've been using it non-stop on my brows right now and I was quite surprised by this item it's the brow gal the instant brow hair tinted brow gel with microfibers and here it is right here brow gel now mine's an O2 I must be different colors it says brown hair O2 but it's just a very very small real small bristle brush can you see that real small but it's perfect to just get right in there brush in through your hairs on your on your eyebrows and I've been using this I mean that's all I didn't use no pencil or anything no um, brow pencil I think I might pick another one of these up to have because I've never I, I had one from Rimmel before that I really liked but I like this bristle better because it's small enough it's not oversized or too big you know some bristles those bristles can be too big or too wide or too thick um, and you might get a little too much on there this is just perfect it's the perfect size to just get those little hairs and I just like it okay, two foundations I have here one new one's an oldie but a goodie and every time I put the bourgeois healthy mix foundation on I'm always reminded why I love this foundation and why it's in my top five for favorites in drugstore type foundations now there's a serum one too and there was a serum one but this foundation I love it I love the coverage um, it's not too heavy not too thick so that's what I'm wearing today and I love this foundation it is definitely a favorite I would repurchase this this is actually in my uh, project pan use up for the year I had a video up not long ago and this is one of the products that I'm used trying to use up and go through I love this foundation the other foundation I'm really liking and it's it's new it's from Rimmel and it's the lasting finish 25 hour I have to laugh at that every time 25 hour breathable foundation and now this one here the bourgeois is more of a full coverage the Rimmel this one here you might not like because I'm not sure if you could get a bit of buildable uh, look with it you might be able to I never tried that I'm somebody just that puts one layer of my foundation that's it just in areas that I need this is a really good foundation it is like one with your skin it looks really natural really nice so if you do like a full coverage foundation you might not like that and then the other thing is it does have that doe foot applicator that you know some people might not like the doe foot applicator so the concealer that goes with the Rimmel I'm really liking this concealer a lot the only thing I'm going to tell you guys about this concealer this is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour breathable concealer I've only used this I've used this I've used this about five times and the last three times that I've used it I have to really start from here and squeeze up and it almost feels like it's empty like I'm thinking really like how much is in here and why is it doing that so I'm not sure if I have 
you know, like just one of those containers or if others are having problems with that. It's the only problem I have. Otherwise, I really like this concealer and would say give it a try. This blush I've wanted for quite some time now and it is from CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Blush. Sadly, I don't know the color, but I know it's the uh, one in the middle. Like they have three different colors. There's like a light, I think they're all in the rose family. It's either mauve or rose color. So like the ones, the first one's like more of a light rose, then the second one's medium rose, then the third one's the darker rose. This is the medium one, and I've been using this constantly a lot. It looks of a nice baked blush, and just the color is just beautiful. It's like one of the ones where you can use it any any look that you do. It's a nice natural, ni nice natural look. So um, right there it is. It's a nice natural look that you get. And it's just so pretty. I really like that blush. Okay, for a face powder, I am impressed with this face powder. Another product I got my BoxyCharm. My BoxyCharms, I have been impressed with, with certain products that I've been getting in it. This is a brand called Studio Makeup. I've never heard of them, but it's an HD finishing powder and it's a silky setting powder with light shimmer to help blur the appearance of imperfections and pores. So it comes in a container like this, which almost looks similar to Makeup Forever and some of those ones. It has a nice uh, sifter in here. You can switch it uh, back and forth and close it. So it has like a nice, you know, uh, sifter in there. I like Cover FX too. They have a nice powder, but this one's really nice. I might have to look at the company and check them out and see a little bit more about them. I don't know a lot, but it's Studio Makeup if you guys are interested. Highlighters. I have two highlighters here I want to share with you guys that I'm really liking and I've been using constantly is obviously the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amarazi, Amarazi or however you say the name. I think that's how you say it. This uh, highlighter here, it is, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, it's a really pretty um, champagne gold color, I guess. It's it's not too much. I thought it was going to be too, too much in your face, but it's not. I was actually surprised. It's not for me anyway. So I'm really liking that one. And then the other one I'm really liking, I was telling uh, Kathy from Beauty Care Chats. She loves her Wet Wild Precious Petals one. And I have that one. This is the Precious Petals one I have here from Wet Wild uh, Highlighter. But this one's called Blossom Glow. So there it is. It's Blossom blossom Glow. This one is so pretty and I'm pretty sure, uh, I know Tara Baby shared this and I'm pretty sure it was a Chanel highlighter that she compared it to that it looks very, very identical like the way it looks and everything. I'm pretty sure it was Chanel. I know it's a really high priced um, brand anyway, but it is just so pretty. And there it is right there on my finger. There it is right on my hand there. Oh, it's just so pretty. It really is. It's a really pretty highlighter palettes. Eyeshadow palettes. I have several here actually, but I've been playing around with a whole bunch of different eyeshadow palettes within the last few months. This one's the Too Faced Life's a Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorns. I am really liking this palette. It does have a lot of beautiful colors in here, you know, that are a little bit more different and unique and I add them into some of my looks. So I've been enjoying playing with this. The other eyeshadow palette I've been playing around with and it's from the Makeup Revolutions. This one's the My Sign set. There's like different ones. It's like your sign of um, your birth sign or whatever. Like I'm Gemini. So this is not actually my sign. Fire is not my sign. It's Aries, Leo, and uh, Sagittarius. It's, it's um, those three. So I didn't pick up my sign. I should see which one was my sign. I forget. I'll have to look again. But these colors were the ones that were calling my name. So there's really pretty plums in there and, you know, some orange tones, gold tones. There's just a little bit of everything. This color right in here is a beautiful taupe color. If you like taupe, this is a really pretty taupey color. I really like that. Like there it is. It's really pretty. So um, yeah, I've been playing around with this a lot. Picking up on Hush, I did finally get to grab a couple of the Bad Habit palettes. And this is the Sol is it Solist? Solist or something like that. 
um, from Bad Habit. And this is supposed to be like a dupe or compared to, um, I don't know if it's actually technically a dupe, but very comparable to the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. And I do have another palette that is uh, another dupe to it. This one's the ColourPop, and this one is the Bad Habit. So you can see why some people do compare this one to the same thing. You know, there's similarities there, obviously. So I don't even think I really need a Natasha Denona one. The eyeshadow quality on the Bad Habit palettes are really good. I mean, that's what I've used so far. Um, there is kick up. There can be some fallout. Um, but still not a full on deal breaker for me because they perform otherwise really well. So I've used this one a couple times as well as I picked up the Aphrodite one that is supposed to be uh, compared to the Huda Rose Gold one that you guys have seen a lot about. That is what I have on my eyes today. Actually, this palette right here is the colors that I'm, I played with and I'm really liking this one too. Now, I don't think I'll go out and obviously buy the Huda Rose Gold one, you know, because I have this now. However, I am going to get the Desert one. I do want hers. I know Bad Habit has their version of it, but I do kind of want Huda's version of Huda's version with the Desert palette. So definitely probably going to pick that up. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's plenty. That's a lot. That's enough. Let me know uh, down below what you guys are maybe enjoying right now or what discovery you found, um, you know, like what, what you're currently liking. And let me know down below. I'm kind of interested because sometimes that helps me. Maybe something I haven't tried yet and get a little intrigued and maybe want to try it. So if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below. Right next to it, there's a bell. So please make sure you hit the bell as well because the bell will notify you by email of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So hit the subscribe and the bell. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.